Okay guys, this is Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick. Um, right now I'm debating doing a, uh, a modification video. Um, what I have here is my Bore Bivy. Um, this is the uh, Bore Bivy with the seal nylon bottom. Uh, it's got the M50 top. Um, it's standard length, standard width. Uh, it does have the foot loops down at the bottom. Um, other than that, it's your basic uh, Bore Bivy. Um, and the modification I want to do to it is uh, not anything to actually make it lighter weight. Um, if anything, this actually may make it a little heavier. Uh, but what I want to do is try to improve the breathability uh, of this bivy. Um, whenever I ordered this thing, uh, I initially went with the M50 material just because it was lighter than the M90. Um, however, in retrospect, I kind of wish I would have went with uh, M90 uh, because I hear that the M90 breathes uh, better than the M50. Um, so what I'm debating on doing, um, and actually I want to say that uh, Caesar from Caesar in the Woods has actually done this modification and I've, I've talked with him about it and uh, he was really happy with the end results. Um, I, I do want to say though that I think he had a more of a professional to uh, actually make the modification uh, than what I am. Um, but essentially what he did is, uh, I know it's hard to tell, but I've got some no CM mesh here. And what I want to do is essentially I just want to cut a rectangle, a long rectangle, out of the bivy and replace it with this mesh. Uh, and what that'll do is that'll still give me the water resistant foot uh, and then the sides. However, there'll be a strip along the middle that'll still allow the, uh, the moisture from my body to escape or from condensation uh, to escape when I'm using it at night. Um, I say I'm attempting or I'm debating because I'm still not 100% sure. I don't know if I want to take my scissors to this thing and start hacking it up just yet. Um, but if I do, I'll be sure to continue this video and show you my progress. So uh, maybe we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I did was since it's been in its stuff sack, um, which is just a uh, Cuban fiber stuff sack from z -Packs, uh, since it's been just kind of shoved in there, uh, the top material is real wrinkly. Um, the only issue with that is whenever I'm cutting out the, uh, the rectangle, uh, it might be real jagged. So what I've done is I've tried to stretch the top material out and just put a couple of things that are kind of heavy around the edges to kind of help hold um, the shape. Uh, that way I can get a little bit more of a straight cut. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just make an incision uh, and cut from the top, just cut out a rectangle, um, and then once I do that, I'll cut my mesh uh, just a little bit bigger than that. Um, and then when I put it on the sewing machine, there's a couple of ways I can do it, but I think the easiest way uh, and the way that would probably be best for me in my experience uh, is to just set it on there and sew it rather than trying to create a hem or anything like that. Uh, I'm just not sure how I would get the corner. So I think that uh, the best for me is just going to be to just, like I said, lay it on top of it put it on the sewing machine and then um, just sew all the way around it. Uh, what that's going to mean is that it's going to have raw edges. Um, I believe I'm going to sew the mesh underneath so that means on the top I'm going to have raw edges of the M90 material or M50 material I'm sorry and then on the inside I'm going to have raw edges of the, uh, the uh, no seam mesh. Um, I have debated possibly uh, just throwing a hem in the mesh around the, uh, the corner since it is more of a fragile material. Uh, however, but for what it's going to be used for, I don't see a whole lot of stress being put on it. Um, so I, I may just uh, even skip that part. Uh, so this is not going to be a pro very professional looking result if I do it. Um, but as long as it's one that works, uh, we'll be fine with me. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so right now, I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, all I'm doing is I'm trying to draw out at least a uh, something that I can get kind of a straight line from. Um, I'm just using, using a uh, crayon, it's one of my dog's crayons. Uh, I'm just trying to get some straight lines here so that I can kind of get a straight cut. Um, Okay, next, I'm going to go ahead and cut this square out. So this is the point of no return. Um, what I've done is I've got one of those little uh, cutting boards uh, inside the uh, bivy 
Uh, it only goes so far, so I have to cut some and then kind of slide it down. Um, and then I've just got this knife here. It should give me an even clean cut. Uh, however, I will admit this thing is it's being used, so I hope it does. So here we go. This is the point of no return. And then there we have it. You can see I've got the center of it cut out. Um, like I said, at this point, I could go ahead and, and maybe hem the edges, but to be honest, I don't know how you would hem the corners um, without cutting more. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, as I said, uh, at this point, I think that all I'm going to do is I'll turn this thing inside out. And I am going to use pins. Uh, just lay this on top of there, um, pin it around the edges, and then once I get done pinning it, I can uh, cut off the excess, or I could even do that after I sew it, uh, just to make sure I have enough. Um, but anyway, I'll just pin it, and then I'll put it on the sewing machine, and I'll just sew a hem, not a hem, but I'll just basically sew it down around all four corners, and uh, go from there. So. Uh, We'll see what happens then. Okay, so now I have the uh, bivy turned inside out. I've got some pins, don't have a whole lot, and this is just some cheap pins off a little set. Okay. So now I've got everything pinned down uh, like I think I like it. Uh, so now uh, this is going to be the hard part for me and it's actually sewing uh, the pieces of material together. Um, I've got everything in there pinned. I think I've got it ready to get started. Um, so let's see if I can get this thing going here. So far so good, but I'm just getting started. the foot. So I'm going to keep doing this and uh, I'll show you the end product whenever I get done. Okay guys, so I've got, um, I'm coming up on my third side and then going to connect here in just a minute at the, uh, at the top where I started. So far I think it's going pretty good. Uh, of course I'll just have to wait and see once I get done. Um, but uh, I got to say that I think using the pins sure has helped out a whole lot. Um, so we'll just kind of see how it goes from here. And I'm just using a straight stitch on this. I thought about using a zigzag, uh, but in the end I decided to just go with a straight stitch. Uh, I'm not sure if a zigzag would have really helped a whole lot. Um,
Like I said, this thing ain't going to be the prettiest. It's going to have the raw edges now uh, along the front, on the top. It's going to have the M50. The, the edges are going to be kind of raw on it. Um, but, you know, as long as it doesn't uh, affect function of the, uh, the baby, I'm going to be okay with it. I'm not trying to win a beauty contest with it. Uh, although I won't complain if it does happen to turn out and look pretty good. I am back up at the top corner. Uh, I just have this little piece right here to connect uh, and then once I'm done with that I'll pretty much be done. I'm going to go ahead and trim uh, these strings from where I started. take this I'm gonna lay it out on the floor uh, and then I'm gonna trim off the excess uh, no CM mesh after I kind of inspect it a little bit uh, and then we'll turn it in uh, we'll turn it right side out and take a look at it okay guys I got it turned back uh, I've, or I've just got it laid out flat here on the table I realized that right here for about maybe two inches I actually caught a side of the baby uh, in the seam so I'm gonna have to rip that part of the steam seam out and uh, make that correction so that's what I'm going to do real quick and then we'll take a look at it again okay guys I got it done and that's the end product I know it's kind of hard to see here um, but um, you can see I've got the, the mesh um, I've actually did uh, an extra thing to this and I'll show you in just a second but you can see I've got the window um, the window is about eight and a quarter inches wide by about 41 inches long. Um, so I still have plenty of coverage along the sides, the foot, and the other side there. Another thing that I did, um, the BB comes with a tie out on the mesh. Um, I've always been kind of afraid to use that tie out just because it's attached to the mesh. Uh, so what I did is I actually added another tie out to um, the uh, the actual material here. Now that may turn out not to be a good idea. I don't know. I've just got some shock cord on it now so it it does have some give. Um, but that's what I've decided to do. So real quick uh, I'm going to try to crawl in this thing and see what it looks like. Also too if you're uh, just curious um, right now inside it I just have my Pro Light pad and uh, my 35 degree uh, Enlightened Equipment quilt. Um, that's one thing that might be kind of cool about this. Uh, you leave that up and kind of might help crawl in. I'm not sure. Let's see. A little bit wants to come in with me. Uh, not this time, baby. Okay, so there it is. I'm 
actually laying inside it. I don't know if you can see my hands there, but there's the mesh. I think it turned out pretty good. A little bit still wants in here with me. Hang on, baby. <laughs> Hang on, baby. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, questions, feel free to post them below, and I'll do my best to uh, answer any questions you may have or reply to the comments. And guys, I appreciate you watching. See you next time. I okay. just push it. Yeah. It's still recording, I think. Okay, a little bit. I'm coming. How do I stop I'm it? Coming. I'll stop it. I'm coming, though, man. I'm coming. You can't move that. <laughs> she did not like that, honey. She's always the old, in there with you. I know. Okay.